hi out there in the YouTube land. And this is just going to be a really quick video on, you know, your sun sign, your moon sign, your Venus sign, your Mars sign. What's your sign? That's what I'm going to title this video. What's your sign? Because most people, if I were to ask them, you know, what's your zodiac sign? They're going to tell me their sun sign. But if you ask them, hey, what's your moon sign? They're going to be like, what are you talking about? Your moon sign. Like, unless they're, like, into astrology and, like, have read books on it, they probably won't know what you're talking about. And that's why I'm doing this video, because it's very important to know that you're not just your sun sign. You're not even just your moon sign. All of it, like, all really good astrologers would say that you should never judge a person by one placement in their chart alone. Because everything is integrated and a combination, basically, an amalgamation. So you can't just look at one sign and be like, oh, that's that's how that sign is. That's how you are. You do ha typically have a chart ruler, which if you know your ascendant sign, uh, for example, my ascendant is Taurus. So then my chart ruler is Venus. So that means that it would be very important for me to look at my Venus placement. And my Venus is in Cancer, the Crab. So, even though I'm a moon in Gemini, which is supposed to be really kind of detached and a little bit uh, emotionally cold, like childish, but still seen as kind of detached from emotion, because my chart ruler is Venus, because my ascendant is Taurus, which is ruled by Venus, when we look at my Venus placement, that would be very important for, for my chart. And it's in Cancer. And Cancer is the home body. So that makes me a little bit more kind, caring, compassionate, and ultimately more nurturing. Because Cancer is like, you know, the stay-at-home dad, the uh, caregiver. They really like to nurture. And through emotion, they're very, um, they're a good stay-at-home dad. That kind of sums up what Cancer is all about. Like, they're very, uh, you know, that, that horn, ho I don't know warm cocoa on a, like a cold Christmas day, that kind of thing. Like they're, they're very emotional beings, okay? Very sentimental. And having that as my placement, that makes it very strong in me. So as I've said, like, you know, my ascendant is Taurus and my sun is Taurus. My moon is Gemini, but uh, my Mars is in Aquarius. So like all of these sign placements, if someone was to ask you, hey, what's your sign? Now you can tell them, like, that you, hopefully look up your chart and you can know. You don't need to memorize every single chart placement, but it really is important to know your sun, your moon, and your ascendant. And, you know, Venus and Mars and Jupiter, they're important too, but for a more in-depth look. If you're just looking for, in a nutshell, your sun, your moon, and your ascendant. So I hope that you have found this helpful. And to any other astrologers that are like me, where we like to research and read a lot, and who know a lot about reading charts, uh, I'm really into the nakshatras, which use 27 signs. And I have kind of a question for other astrologer people out there, is my ascendant is actually Kritika, which is in Taurus, but Kritika is ruled by Mars. So I'm wondering, what has more chart importance for my my ruler for my ascendant because in the western system it would be venus because of taurus but in the vedic system it would be mars because mars rules critica which is still in taurus but i'm just wondering if i should put more influence on my mars placement or my venus or should i just kind of integrate them both but please give this video a thumbs up and share your thoughts below, hit the subscribe button, and yeah, I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Mwah! Mwah! <laughs>